are about to set off to Ohio, Cuyahoga National Park. Trip and then see the eclipse. We got a couple pairs of eclipse glasses here, just in case. Yeah, we'll check them later. First fuel up in Hancock, Maryland, I believe. And let me tell you what, it is windy out here in the mountains. It is so windy. See you later. Are you recording? Yep, I'm recording. Um, around Allegheny, it was very snowy. Snow all over the place. Thankfully not precipitating, at least not snow. Uh, I went in and out of some 12 rainstorms. So it was like just enough to get me really cold and wet, then dry off, and then cold and wet again. Pretty miserable. Stopped for gas here in um, New Stanton. Um, and for whatever reason, the pumps just are not giving me anything. Everyone else is getting something. My card's working, but it's just like, I pulled the trigger and nothing comes out. So that's a bummer. I didn't realize how cold I was when I stopped here. My body was like shaking and um, it's great. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, see ya. Right? Yeah. Hey, we in Ohio now. It's actually turned into a really nice day. Um, ever since that stop at, uh, shoot, wherever that was, um, after Allegheny, what was it, New Standard. Um, it, like, literally, like, right when I got back on the bike, just partly cloudy, well, mostly cloudy, I should say, but sunny as well, and a lot warmer, and it had been just really cold and miserable. The only thing that got me through it was thinking over and over in my head, dry ones come skipping up the valley, and, um, yeah, probably a solid 30 minute stretch where I, well, I wasn't singing in my head, I was singing out loud. And um, yeah, the only breaks was to sl swallow my saliva. But um, anyway, here we are in Ohio. I think it's called Portage, right outside of Freedom. And uh, we're like probably 30 minutes out. And um, yeah, everything's good. Life's good. Wonderful. Here's the bike. <laughs> Obligatory bike shot. Good luck. Okay, I don't know what happened, but at some point, I did something very wrong. Um, I was supposed to end up approaching Boston Mills here from the south. I ended up approaching from the north because I over... well, no, not because. And I'd overshot my exit by, like, 25 miles, which, like, I'd Google mapped everything, and I, like, I knew what to look for. I was looking for Cuyahoga National Park signs that say, like, literally, take this exit for the park. And like, I saw a landmark establishment that like I knew once I see this establishment, I started looking for the signs. I saw that establishment, but I never saw the signs. And I kept being like, well, you know, sunk cost, maybe it'll be this next exit or whatever. But it just never came. And eventually, finally, finally, I just pulled over, checked my maps. I don't know what happened, but uh, that was really annoying. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I literally like another hour delay. That, yeah. Regardless, we're here now in Boston Mills, and um, <laughs> much later than I intended. I mean, literally the the last rest stop that I was at, it was like 20 minutes out, and it's just like, why why am I not seeing the sign? Eventually, finally, I saw like a Cleveland Airport sign, Cleveland Hopkins Airport, and I was like, I. I really think that I have missed it. But yeah, I was supposed to come from the south. I don't know how I ended up coming from the north. I thought I was supposed to end up on 80, which I was. Maybe I was supposed to take an exit to 76. I don't know. I really just don't understand what happened there. But um, anyway, this place is beautiful. There's a railroad right here. Um, and over here, we've got all different kinds of paths. And I'm going to see what they look like. And um, if I see any place reasonable to sleep, and I'll do that. Oh, and uh, literally, like, you know, at the rest stop, I had commented on how good my bike was doing. I, I went in, got a coffee at the rest stop, came out, and there were oil leaks underneath it. So uh, that's just my life right now. See ya. There's she. The, the, yeah, the, there she is. Here, I need to get myself with it, right? I'll show you what I can do. Prop up a stick underneath it. And then I'm going to set a fader.
hope that worked. Hey, I'm with it. Better if I stand here? Whatever. We here. Okay, here we go. That's gnarly, man. Yeah, these are definitely no Annapolis trails. Much steeper and better. As I was getting up to this, I was thinking, man, you know, this actually isn't uh, that much more special than waterworks. And the trail ended up going alongside a road, and it's just like a simple little stream. I was like, yeah, kind of overhyped. But then you get this. Very pretty. Very short trail, though. Camera off now. Burger Bus King Forever Forever immortalized from the horse truck Oop That was stuck There it is Zarr! Blue Hen Falls, and I think I see a good place to set up a little fishing bag right behind the, uh, the wall there. Yeah, come back to it, I'm particularly a fan of uh, the root systems that you see on some of these trees just crawling all over the place. Look at that. 
We got all this fern. Beautiful place. Far further down, things get quiet, and then, then we have a log across. Although I think we can also go down there. But that's not nearly as exciting as a log to cross. Talk about logs, I can't erected. Butthole tree. Hey, we doing some nighttime trail stuff. Boink? Wait, did that actually do anything? Boink? Eh, it's kind of boink. Yeah, that's not too good for me. Darn it! I was going to go off about how excited I was to use the infrared setting on this camera, which, you know, that's something. That, that ain't nothing right there. I think the uh, manual said that, like, oh, that's pretty good. That it's got a range of, like, 15 feet. That are meters. I don't know. But hey, we nighttime and we we uh we in the dark on the trail. Headed to the CNO Canal towpath uh, in just a minute, which I have done a bit of on bicycle, but on the far more southerly end. Um, so yeah, cheers. So I am here at Boston Mill still. Um, I met some cool locals. That's nice. Um, I found a lot of maps from the National Park Service, uh, with which I am planning out my tomorrow. Uh, the locals told me to check out the bathrooms here, which I already looked at the uh, porta potties because, you know, worked last time when I was on the CNO. Oh, that's another note. I think I had said that um, I had walked the towpath before. I was talking about the CNO. This is the O and E canal. I haven't walked the O and E towpath. But I'm about to do it tonight, um, so whatever. The entire thing I'm gonna walk tonight. Um, yeah, the locals were cool. The lady, <laughs> they were funny. The lady kept uh, like offering all different kinds of stuff to me, and I'm like, ah, I'm good. be good. Got my sandwich. Um, anything else interesting? I don't think so. Here, I. Oh damn it! I just put jelly all over. Mm. Dang, Nabbit. On the floor. Anyway, I don't know. I just like the way that this uh, motorcycle works. I wish I didn't like it so, because it kind of... I know it's a fine motorcycle. I don't know what I'm saying. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, I meant to say the restrooms that they told me to look at. I already looked at porta potties, but they're like, no, this building with restrooms, you should check it out. So I checked it out. It's like heated and all that. 
I feel a little weird trying to sleep in it, especially since like in the morning people are going to be there and I don't want someone to find me sleeping in the bathroom. It's better with a porta potty where you can lock yourself in. But like, hey, if it gets dire cold, I'm just going in there. It's very warm, so yeah. One last fun note. I'm pretty sure this dude in this car over here is uh, spending the night uh, at the grounds as well. So cheers to him. I'm saying cheers too much in this. Uh, goodbye. Ciao. It's your boy. I'm using red light for everything right now. Woo! But in reality now, I can actually use this effectively. Isn't that neat? Anyway, um... I was becoming a little concerned there that things were working out too well. Um, you know, th this trip wouldn't be interesting if I just had these nice heated bathrooms to stay in all night and, uh... Yeah, all that. You know, I took a beautiful walk on the um, EN, ENC, Erie, well, whatever, the ENO, you know, Erie and Ohio Canal. I look like a demon or something. Let me put this down. Took a long walk. It was really nice. I actually want to revisit the places during the day to see what they look like. I still look ghastly, don't I? Ah, perfect. Anyway, um, yeah, right there is focus of the least. Yeah, uh, so I finished up everything, had dinner and all that, uh, brushed my teeth. As I was finishing up my walk, a patrol vehicle like came by and, um, somebody's saying, oh no, right now. And, uh, you know, like, had their lights shined on me and I just kept walking because I was, I was walking. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just walking. Um, and I kept walking and I finished my walk and like 30 minutes later, maybe more, patrol vehicle came back around to the parking lot and uh you know at first they're all like who but yeah uh basically they told me to leave um she was cool about it after i cracked a couple jokes and uh and she realized that i'm not like a freak just a dude trying to sleep in a porta potty guilty um anyway she's like yeah the the super, uh, superiors are really cracking down on no sleeping in national parks during this eclipse time and i'm thinking like it's a Porta potty of the national park. I thought it was like wooded trails and all. Not anyway, whatever. Um, back of plan here. I am by a Catholic church, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, it's a small church. Hopefully, I won't have too much trouble when uh, service starts tomorrow. But I just chose the backmost part of the lot corner here. Back myself in. And I've got my setup there. It's going to be a chilly one. I'm kind of looking forward to having the um, the uh, nice heated bathrooms. And this grate right here, I keep thinking I'm going to drop something in there, like my keys. But I actually brought it back a pair of keys, so whatever. Anyway, yeah. Uh, thank the Lord for the Catholics, I guess. My hope, since ca uh, Catholicism is generally very works-based, is that in the morning, Sunday morning, when people come, either A, I'll be long gone, because in these kinds of situations, you usually don't sleep very well, um, which I'm totally ready for. Um, but if by chance people get here really early, I'm hoping that um, their works-based culture will just be like, let the guy sleep, or give him a hot bowl of soup. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, that's all for tonight. I just wanted to show off my Sleeping arrangements mainly, Let's here from another angle, is the motorbike. I've got an e-bivvy bag there with my um, sleeping bag stuffed in it. I thought I had a pretty good tarp to put on the ground, but I brought something else that isn't a tarp. Um, I also have an emergency thermal blanket if needed, and I've got a lot of clothing on, and a couple pairs of socks. And yeah, I think we'll be good. If not, yeah, whatever. Would we'll be good. Good morning, campers. Rise and shine, and remember to put your booties on because it's cold outside. Sorry, I believe my battery just died very suddenly there. Um, which I made sure to uh, to sleep with my batteries, all my backups in my pocket because they are something. What are these things? Okay, they're they're lithium. I don't know if they would like freeze and burst because it was in the uh, it was in the mid twenties last night. 
But I will tell you what, with my setup, I actually, like, you know, I, I was expecting to wake up a couple times through the night. I woke up either two or three times throughout the night, but I was actually hot. You know? Like, that's pretty nice. I was over warm, so I'm happy about that. I, I, I am a little curious if this uh, film is going to come out good. I don't know what impact the total will have on it. But we all packed up already. I managed to wake up around 6, 10, 6, 15 here for my final leg, which is uh, before anyone's showing up for church. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, today we're going to go try to see the ledges. Um, and who knows what else. I don't know. Uh, going to fly by here. Here we are at Octagon, they call it. Octagon, that's it. Um, oh, and that's it. It's an octagon shaped building. Who cares? Uh, anyway, there actually does seem like there's good hiking around here, so I'll probably come back for that. Uh, this was just a stop along the way to, um, to ledges. I also pa passed Kendall Lake, which I'll go back to. But I was curious as to what octagon is, and now that I see it's an octagon shaped building, which I guess, pardon me, matches the pictures I saw on, uh, on the internet. Well, uh, that's just unexciting. Hey, look, more people. Um, anywho, the, uh, poopity doop stalls are also locked, so I'm in trouble unless, uh, yeah, goodbye. Big old ledge. These boys are doing a uh, search and rescue training here. I guess they're gonna jump the ledge. It's weird being out here at the same time as so many, uh, so many locals. You know, just this is a national park for me that I'm visiting. For, for all these people, it's just the park near them, <laughs> I, I suppose. I imagine, to some degree, it becomes normalized. But I guess I don't know. That's a graffiti tree, wow. Peanut butter, peanut butter, jelly, bear. Oh, I think our boys are getting ready to uh, do some dissension. I heard them calling out scenarios earlier. Uh, victim has been... No, I don't... I forget what they refer to the person as, but... Uh, like, overnight hypothermia. Woo! Great. And uh, it's like, hey, me. Where are we at? There we are. This one's for you, uh, Professor Derek. 
a bird just crawled into this cave, or a little hole rather. Didn't get a good look at it. Oh, there's another. Let's have to see. There we go. Yeah. You can identify that for me. I know not my birds. Goodbye, birdie. Cavernous. Drippy. I'd go in, but there's these bars. Rocky. I keep thinking of the uh, part from um, King of the Hill where Peggy makes sloppy joes and Bobby says, Mine are all sloppy and no joke, but I keep saying, like, all rocky and. I don't know, just all rocky. Bird. Now I'm in it too. Rocky. Where is the sun? I'm a big fan of all these craggly little divots. They're quite neat. And the gentle water falling. <laughs> They're making a baby river for the years to come. Can you see that? Look at it glisten. And green. We have very cool patterns on the rocks. Very cool. Very cool. And check this out. So dang. Look at these. 
very neat. Undeniable urge. Irresistible. Just stick your finger. There you go. It actually sounds very not dense. But look at these patterns. They're pretty rocks. No, nobody's home. Yeah. I feel like I should just <clears throat> pull it off. Anyway, I won't do that. Blink. There have been so many trail runners. It is insane. And apparently there has been a large uptick for Eclipse Watchers, but um, yeah, I don't know how many people are local. Like, there, there are groups of trail runners coming through. Herds of them. Kind of insane. But yeah, pretty enough place. So far it's not like making me say, Wowza! Although this is... There. I can say I licked the ledge. I wonder how many other people have done that. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Here we are at the Everett Covered Bridge. I had zero interest in seeing this bridge, but then I was like, ah, uh, well actually the main thing is I drove six hours to get here, and I'm here. This is actually really pretty here. Uh, so I'm here, so I might as well see it while I'm here. Check off that box. And also, I was like, at, at another location that was right here. I, I went to the stone quarry parking, and then I saw that it's like another mile and a half of walking, and I already walked probably like eight miles this morning, so a little walk down. But, uh, yeah, there's a bridge. Another thought in my mind was, oh, I could drive my motorcycle through there, and that might sound fun and feel fun. But, um, alas, it is a footbridge now. So. Woo! <laughs> Can I get in there? Yep, it's a bridge. baby on the other side. It's got nice foot sounds and good trusses. Well built bridge. No water flow. Okay. It's so incredibly packed right now. Park rangers look frantic. Overflow parking is overflowing down to just normal streets. And at Brandywine Falls, and it's not looks like it'll be super enjoyable on account of it being like this in the world. But alas. Oh, that made you sick. I don't know what to make of this, isn't it? Thank you. 
there are so many people who are kind of crazy. And that's after I started to say that, where I was at the place where I was standing on Sunday night last night or something. I thought it was you. I thought it was yeah, anyway, that tow path, parking lot, and overflow, or overflow, and overflow, like, one tow. And what's gonna happen tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah, we like that. That's gonna be a good people. Yeah. For the area, I'll have to come back here and go to someone else. So this is a lot. Literally like a different world track. Finally found some quiet. Way down the trail. Oh, here, I need to get in it. Hi, it's your host, Matthew. Brandywine. How about that? Someone just threw a big freaking rock over there. Are oh, they gonna launch another? Yeah, I'll let them launch in peace. Anyway, yeah. Okay, now I've had my real fun. I followed a small, lightly beaten trail that suddenly crossed a dried up riverbed, similar to this one, or stream bed, I don't know, like these. And suddenly on the other end, there was no other trail, so I just, I don't know, went. And then I found this pole, and on that sign it says, warning something, I couldn't get a good read on it. But, that's the indication to turn back. Oh, there's something over there. 151. But now I've had my actual adventure. Once you go off the trail, that's where it gets interesting. Cool, bye. Okay, 8,000 tons of gallons every minute. Hello, it's me again. So, update. I am either nowhere near as good, here let me actually have, this is the background, either nowhere near as good as navigating as I previously thought, or Ohio just is uh, terrible with making its directions very clear. Because I thought I was supposed to be on north, uh, 90 east to go eastward to Willick, or w Willowick, 
because it would make sense that it was east of where I was, but I actually, and it also was labeled, it, whatever. Anyway, um, my 30 minute trip to Lake Erie ended up being like an hour or more. I also learned that I need to start trusting my instincts because now this is the second time it's happened where I missed a, a correct turn and like both times pretty pretty soon after I missed it I was like I think I missed a turn that just like I don't know wasn't there or whatever but it's there obviously but you get the gist uh, and I, I just always tell myself ah, give it a little more time but I need to start trusting my instincts anyway I figured I, I wasn't gonna see Lake Erie originally um, cause from pictures it just looks like some boring, boring, um, lake, which it very well might be. But alas, you know, I'm here six hours away from home, so I might as well. Um, so anyway, that's there. There's the lake. Okay, going home. Bye really kind of crazy the amount of um, eclipse uh, paraphernalia propaganda propaganda is better propaganda there is everywhere like a McDonald's that I just sat around for like two and a half hours letting my phone charge and Eden like they had a sign even that said like they're closed between 305 and 315 or whatever for the eclipse like it's just everywhere everyone's talking about man that's a good looking bike look at that thing I wish, I wish I didn't like it. I don't know why I wish I had it works great. The uh, oil leak that was noted earlier. I, I think I have explanations. It hasn't done it again, at least not bad. Yeah. I've heard in the background the lady trying to get her dog to move because she has something on the stove. I talked with her a little dog is stubborn. Who can blame it? Well, I think I have a mode for stuff like this. I don't know. Ah, I think that's the mode. Look at that. It actually is pretty. That's the way down. Really rough water. But it is a little breezy here. Just spread the skip of stone. But yeah, man, this is literally like looking out at the Atlantic. Uh, as in like it just goes on forever. And these rocks are so darn smooth. Look at these things. Like that, when you guys flipping rocks, you've got the right idea. Anyway, I guess this is me touching the water. So that I can say I touched the lake here. There we go. John, check that off. Never had to come here again. No, it's actually kind of cold though. A lot of water. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, Lake Erie! I, I've been here a couple minutes now, and this dude has just been vibing up, skipping stones. Skipping stones. For the whole time. Which I got a lot of respect for. I get it. It's gotta be wet though. Look at that. Oh! I'm worried to look around. He's cool. I like this guy. You think you can feel me recording? I think you can. 
so I have to now also pull the rod. There is a duck out there. Oh, whatever. Anyway. It's honestly kind of incredible, I guess, just the power of uh, all these waves. Like, even these concrete chunks are around it. Unless, like, they were placed there. And also, I, I suppose I do wonder out loud if all of these stones are natural or if they are moved here just like the, uh, the walls here were moved. Because obviously that's not part of this. Or all these... Here, I'll walk over here for just a second. These, uh, other concrete slabs that so notoriously place themselves on the cliff face. But yeah, like, are these, na I guess these are natural, but that would also mean that these uh, concrete chunks have been here for a long time, were put here unnaturally. But yeah, I don't know, and look at these cool little bricks. Woo! They're cute. But yeah, everything is just so gosh darn rounded. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know, it's just cool. I, I admit, I, I am enjoying this. Truth be told, Cuyahoga, however you pronounce it, Cuyahoga, 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 whatever. It, I don't know, a lot of it is just like hiking trails, which, you know, I know that's what a national park is, but they, they weren't that crazy. A couple of really beautiful spots there, but um, I don't know. I, I suppose I do like this open expanse of water. It does a little more for me than I would have expected given my Annapolitan roots. Is that Cleveland there? I don't know. Anyway, I should probably start heading back. I'm sorry, but I cannot get over just how pretty these rocks are here. Look at them, look at the color! I don't know how this will translate once digitized, but uh, man, they're just so pretty. They're faint. But, I don't know, it's pretty. The water lights them up. They're just like pretty. Look at these couple ones here. Good. Why does the boring lake have to be the coolest part? Ugh, I hate Ohio. This trip sucks. Might actually be too cloudy tomorrow for uh, the new clips to be seen. So. Yeah, whatever. I had to get time anyway. That's a cool one, look at that. And I know that that's like man-made rock right there, but still cool. Look at all these freaking awesome rocks. Look at that one. I might take that one, ask me about that if I find a Look at that. It's just all these rocks are so cool. Oh, snap. Oh, I got very wet this thing. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, like all of these rocks, they're just like the kinds that you would pay money for, you know? They're so pretty, I hate it. Oh, look at that one. Mm. Oh, look at that one. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that one. Do that one again. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look at this. Did I even aim at them? I don't know. But yeah, these rocks are so gosh darn pretty. I hate it. Ah, oh, wow. Look at that. This is going to turn into a significant chunk of this video. I know I filmed a lot of mundane stuff, but like, I like these rocks. I want to shout it from the mountaintops, I like the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Bang. Bang. Pretty, 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 pretty. Keep going back at it. Okay, I need to not film anymore. Ooh, look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I need to live in the, mo in the moment now. In the moment. 
after I look at these rocks. Oh, I love it. Okay. Ooh, look at that one. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. I I gotta I gotta get going out of here now. I hate to say it, but like I am bummed to be leaving Lake Erie now. The one place that like I was well, I was also not very excited about the Everett Bridge or whatever. But the one place that I like wasn't planning on visiting at all. Well I wasn't planning on visiting the bridge either. Anyway. Yeah, darn it. I like lakes, what can I say? I think a, a boat sank here mysteriously in like the 40s and killed a lot of people. This is a pretty lake. Pretty pretty. Look at that dude go. Let's see. He's a wild man. Oh, he keeps catching me. Oh, this is so awkward. Okay, I really have to go now. Uh, I like this lake. Okay. Goodbye lake. I need to get home before home. <laughs> home. <laughs> home. <laughs> home. <laughs> home. Okay. I am still here. <laughs> like an hour or so later. Had a really cool talk with a cool dude. Ah, should I stay and watch the sunset? I don't want to drive in the dark. It's a hard call to make. Hmm. I'll think about it. Probably not. There are other things on the list.
I am so tired right now. Um, finishing up now a dinner that was started. Focus, still in Lake Erie. Um, macaroni and cheese that's not been in a refrigerator for a couple days, but it has been in the 25 degree first night I spent. Um, so yeah. As is probably known, my first intention was to spend the night by that towpath at Boston Mills Visitor Center, but I got kicked out there. And then, well, actually, an original plan at home, I'd planned on spending the night at this, like, Baptist mega church, uh, just, like, to the north side of Cuyahoga, and a little, yeah, sorry, up north and to the west of it, so top left side of Cuyahoga. National Park, but for whatever reason I never did that. Um, I found this other place like St. Peregrine or something, um, St. Pellegrino uh, Catholic Church. Spent the night last night there. That's a good practice when you do this kind of stuff. It, it's just good not to spend the night in the same place twice. Although really I probably would have been fine spending it in St. Pellegrino again. San Pellegrino. But alas. Good practice is good practice for a reason. Um, so, on, on my way home from Erie, the idea, I, I was, yeah, I, I was going back to the Boston Mill Visitor Center um, because they have really nice bathrooms there. I figured everything would be not crowded anymore. Like, man, today was all the Cuyahoga Valley National Park stuff. Everything was just so freaking packed. It was insane. I know that it's been said enough in this tape, but like, man, it was so crazy. At up in Erie, I was in um, Willowick, and I, I talked with a number of different locals, and they're all just like, man, it's freaking insane how many people are here. Um, and I imagine tomorrow it's only going to multiply yet again because so many people are just doing a day trip. So it's just going to be absolutely bonkers. Um, I still don't know exactly where I'm going to go to try to see the eclipse yet. I could stay here. Okay, so right now I'm in the Akron area. I'm in Fairlawn, um, which is, like, literally touching Akron, um, to the left, um, west. So, that means I'm a little further from the center path of totality. So I could go back up to that original church I was talking about that's north and to the west of 
Cuyahoga. That's probably what I'll do for the actual eclipse. Because judging from what I've seen today, it's just... Every, every other place is going to be so unbelievably packed, it will not even be funny. But, um, I, I won't go. Ha ha ha. Uh, anyway, so, on my way back from Erie, was planning on going to the Boston Mill Visitor Center to, like, brush my teeth, freshen up, eat dinner, walk the towpath. Like, I legitimately just wanted to walk the towpath again, even in the dark. You know, I, I was originally planning on leaving Lake Erie while there was still time light in the day, because I wanted to... There, there's this really cool overpass that I wanted to get on tape. Maybe I'll make it tomorrow before crowds show up. Doubtful, though. But, um... Yeah, they had the whole parking lot closed. So, yeah, couldn't even get in. Usually those are open 24-7. Um, but yeah, they had it closed, probably to prevent campers. Um, because... Hey, we are what we are. Um... So yeah, once I got there, I was like, oh snap. Like, it's, it's weird when you don't have a home base to return to. It's probably not something that a lot of, I guess, more well-off people can relate to. Like, even if you do go on a trip, you have your hotel room you can go back to. You have your car you can just chill in your car or something, or you have a campsite or whatever. I can, I guess, chill on my motorcycle, but, like, finding a place to do that... Like, wh where when there is no place that you can just naturally go to, to be, like, safe. It's a, it's a very odd feeling. It, uh, it stretches you a lot. Um, which I enjoy. It, it's uncomfortable, but I enjoy it. It's, it's a sick kind of fun. But, um, anyway, once I found that closed, I went back to the first church, um, that I spent last night at. And I was just like, this church is also a school. I imagine schools are probably canceled tomorrow on account of how busy it will be. But on the off chance that it isn't, closed or canceled because it is a private school. I don't want to risk me sleeping there, like sleeping, you know, at, at an elementary school. A church I'm fine with, but an elementary school, like, that just seems wrong, so. Um, so I hopped on the highway. What is that? Um, those are gunshots. Oh no, those are fireworks. Okay. <laughs> I was like, holy oh, snap. Look at that. Anyway, I hopped on a, on Google Maps first and I found uh, a couple options. I, I wanted to kill more time because it was only 9.30 by the time I was at the other church, which is not early, or not late enough to go to sleep in my books. Um, especially doing this kind of activity. Uh, so, I got on, what is it, uh, 216, 217, down 77, and ended up here off of, um, uh, Ghent, Ghent Boulevard, Ghent Road, something like that, and kind of whisked up and down, um, the main drag from Lawn, F Fairlawn to Akron. I am so tired. I'm physically just exhausted, I'm mentally exhausted, like there's just permanent fog I feel in the front of my head. I'm so looking forward to sleeping. Um, anyway, I've droned on enough here, um, who cares? I'll, I'll probably just say, I'll, I'll time, uh, time stamp this story and just say to skip it. Anyway, um, I had, before I actually, you know, went downtown Akron and all and explored, I did a quick little escape of the, um, parking lot here. This is the back of a mega church, it seems. Maybe not a mega mega church, but it's a grace something church. And you know how those grace churches are. Their website is the kind that's like, we just like Jesus. So I was like, okay, they're, they're a fine place to go. Anyway, I found this, uh, it's not the darkest spot. The darkest spot is right, actually right beyond that light. But, um, it's the most back spot here. And it's right up against this trailer. So... I'm pretty sure that car over there is abandoned, or well, not abandoned, but not occupied, and that truck also seems unoccupied. But I've got my motorcycle here. I haven't even really set up shop yet. But, um, yeah, I'll just spread out underneath there, uh, or behind there. So, I think there's still a couple cars at the church, so I don't want to draw too much attention. But, um, yeah, just kind of tucked in here. I imagine 
and I hope that I'll just be zonked really, really quick, and uh, I'll wake up at a reasonable time and get out of here before anyone says anything. Although I did notice some of these uh, streetlights down here have outlets, and if I could charge my phone for a little bit, that'd be splendid. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish eating. Probably going to eat some granola as well. And I'm going to brush my teeth. And then I'm going to sleep so very well. I cannot, I won't get out of, I cannot wait to sleep tonight. I get, it's going to be so good. It's going to be on a hard ground. People that know me know that I love sleeping on hard ground. It's going to be great. And I'm going to feel so refreshed. And if I don't, whatever. Then we'll see what happens with tomorrow. I really don't know. So, ooh, I still have my shut on. It was, uh, it was not on the radar for it to rain last night. But alas, it rained last night. <laughs> around three. So I'd just been, like, you know, sleeping right alongside the trailer here. Around three, I felt some raindrops on my head. Well, I, I heard a really beautiful sound. It actually sounds like if you've ever played any of the Hitman video games, that crinkly sound that he gets in his ear, it sounded like that. It was so fine on my bivy bag there. Um, and once I was cognizant enough to realize it was rain, I just kind of shimmied myself underneath the um, trailer there. And um, then, and, and I checked the weather radar, and like there had been, like I checked the, the radar prior to that happening at all, and there was like no indication of rain happening. Um, and then at three I checked it and they're like, okay, light rain should pass in 15 minutes. And like, that'll be all. And I'm like, okay, good. And then around like four, I woke up cause it was pouring. And they're like, eh, yeah, probably another hour of this. And uh, so that's great. Um, unfortunately, it did seep under just like, I, I just shimmied myself, scoot, scoot, scoot underneath the trailer. If I had gone just like a foot further, I would have stayed dry, but I woke up at 6 a.m. having at some point moved to sleep on my side, and thankfully I did that because my side was soaked. I'd much rather it be my side than my back. But, um, yeah, so... Never trust Ohio weather. Rule number... something, I don't know. Okay, this bridge I wanted to catch from the towpath, but I don't actually want to stop down at the towpath, so I'm just taking a video from here. Look at this immaculate thing. It is so freaking big. Standing underneath it from down there, it just feels so tiny. It is remarkable. Anyway, this is so that I don't actually have to go down on the towpath again. I can go straight to the gorgeous. Hopefully. I don't know what any business will be like. But, um, yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful overpass. And it feels pretty crazy to drive on it, too. You know, look at that. It is just cute. Anyway, that's all. Okay. Just got to Tinker's Creek Gorge. Scenic overlook. I think this is the main place for Tinker's Gorge. The drive up here was very beautiful and also long-winded. Um, there was a main road that was closed, which, yeah, finally, not for my own doing, things, uh, not, not like from me actually missing something, did uh, the trip get lengthened, but uh, yeah, it was out of necessity. I'm sure if I had maps, though, it would have gone a little faster, but... Uh, like a, you know, a ways type thing. Some electronic mapping. But alas, I don't. Obligatory pun here. But yeah, the, the drive up here, I could see a little of the gorge when we were lower, and it was gorgeous. And, um, hopefully this too will be gorgeous. Certainly expansive. Mm. 
Yeah, it's a pretty place. I think I found I generally like being right next to something more. I don't know. This is also very pretty. It's quiet yet. Mossy. Hug shots! Yeah, you know, as I look through the viewfinder, I see it in monochrome, so... here. Pastel. Negative. Whoa. Sophia. That's, that's kind of pretty. Feels nostalgic as Sophia should. Black and white. Ew. Ew. Anyway. Okay, so I was I was enjoying my time in the shit pit. I'm talking about one of those. When I noticed, well, I wasn't in there when I noticed, I stepped right out. I was like, huh, somebody left their box lunch. So I step over and hawk shots. Down, down, down. Woo, woo, woo. I step on over. What do we have here? A geocache from the pre-Trump United States, 2013. So let's see what we got inside, you know? Okay, it's a little moldy. So I don't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, you put a, a snake skin in there. Real good, my man. You know what's this? Daniel, oh, okay, we gotta sign our name for people that have seen it. And I don't know what else we're supposed to do in here. I'll sign my name though. Cool. 2024 is, oh, I wonder how far back this goes. Okay, it's got, it's got some. Okay, I signed my name, didn't feel so special because there was like three other people from the past day and a half um, and also people going back to 2013 so whatever but it's still cool it's still cool I'm happy anyway oh I need to get proof that I was here Matthew at the gorge all right set it up over here now Proof that I was here. The proof you will see as you eat my tapioca. Because it will be in there. And a little from over here. Great. Okay. I am here at the Bridal Veil Falls. I don't actually know which are supposed to be done yet, unless it's like all these. Or if there's something greater yet down here. But uh, I tell you, you boys feeling those um, trip endings, the trip is ending blues. I'm sure many of y'all know what I mean. The last time I felt it, I, I don't know, I, I had a different perspective on it. This time, I just don't like it at all. It makes me not want to go on a trip again. That or it's the mac and cheese I ate that was old. I don't know. But it's like a weird nausea. Whatever. Oh, that's pretty over there. Anyway, this is a nice enough area. I am not uh, not hopeful that we're going to see the eclipse at all. Um, it is overcast, and while there still is 
Let's see what time it is right now. It's uh, 9.05. Wow, we still got plenty of time. I, I'm not that hopeful. So. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Perhaps the uh, more active feeling than, um, than just the surface level trip ending blues might be a sort of nauseating existentialism. Seeing all this natural beauty and knowing that long, long after we're gone, it'll still be here. And um, yeah, how, how tiny our lives are and just, uh, yeah, existentialism. What the heck are we doing here? This is a pretty area, unfortunately. Even after a very wet night. Very, very pretty. Look at this brown. Gold, copper, I don't know what you want to call it. that I've heard my opinions on, uh, on traveling in general know that it's a very silly and unpopular opinion and in some ways very stupid but uh, I don't know I feel it even more strongly right now these experiences we have they feel so unique and special but how could they be when anybody that travels like this similarly has them so what's the point? Too unique and special thing. Not traveling at all. Active opposite. I don't know what I'm saying. Beautiful here. I'm a moody boy. Who's a moody boy? Look at this pretty face. It's very pretty. I guess maybe one of the reasons I I enjoy solo travel, well, one of the reasons being there aren't always other options, but um, I know it, it allows me to trick myself into feeling like the experience is more unique. And um, yeah, like the time that I have here is special in the grand scheme of all other humans' existence that mine is set apart when, um, when at least for me, deep down inside, well, not too deep, I, I don't feel that too many people are special or unique or that the human experience varies. I mean, obviously there are details that vary, but um, I feel in a grander scheme, it's, uh, we're all kind of just living the same. A lot of nuance in there, a lot of debate. But, um, yeah, whatever. Just having this time alone when there aren't other people around. I don't know. For once, it makes you feel set apart. Look at him. Can I focus better on him? And you'll focus. Oh, I don't know. Where'd he go? Cutie. Pecking away. Rolling the boulder up the hill. Uh, we have a development. Ooh, we'll be both hiding. 
we got him right there. Beautiful creature. And then there's another, I think, just on the other side of this tree here. Oh, nope, there they are. Oh, look at that. How delightful. I may end up using all of my tape on this. I don't have much time left. Yeah, we run it in. I do like a nature documentary, though. David Attenborough's Trials of Life. That's a fun one. I don't want to scare them away, but I also do, just to see them open their wings. Yeah, so pretty. Uh. Okay, I gotta head to something else. Drink a coffee, wipe away the blues, or something. Train. Oh, look, it is just uh, the ABC unit. They ain't got no freight. Man, these are some old units. I'm happy to see them still acting. CSX in there, too. Man, five and ABCDE. Look at them, I like the NSC here, 4286. I wish I was better at my train identification. Mmm. Is there some nice locomotive? Well, these electrics. Okay, I really gotta save my film for the actual eclipse. Woo I'm getting close. Oh, while I'm here, um, I stopped mainly because there was a landslide right here, and it does not look passable safely. Um, so let it be known, I'm using wisdom. I could walk that and get over the trees and get over there, but I don't think it would be wise. So yeah, read it and wait, boys. I'm being smart. Beautiful train. It cannot really be seen, but partiality has definitely begun. Yeah. I don't know if this will kill my lens. Yeah, it says it still sees. Partiality's begun, it's um... Oh yeah, we got the um... Knockoff uh, Sunwatch from Omega X Swatch. You doggy. So yeah, it's that time. There, I actually have time on the screen now. Still can't really tell much through the camera. The tensions are rising. Cars are buzzing and, um, I don't know, the air seems a different shade, if you will. It's that time. Still can't really see Scott through the uh, camera. But if I were a uh, astronomy student, I'd say it's about a waxing crescent. Yeah, yeah. There's an area up the street just a little bit. It's a big field. It's getting a little nervous that I don't have the best spot. But then I saw some people that used to be here come back from that direction, so... I'm staying now. I do hope I have the best spot, though. It's so hard to describe the lighting right now. It's like, it's not dark, but it's also not bright. It's very odd. But I guess a lot of the path of partial totality also has this, but, man, it's weird. It's getting dark quickly now, I think.
I think I feel dimming just since I started. I am incredibly anxious right now. We've got fairly clear skies too, this is great. You notice the lighting difference? It's like a weird twilight. It's so nice. So ominous. We're almost there. Oh, we're close enough that that looks weird. Through the glass is a... Yeah, it's just a sliver. It is like a third of a rim of a glass. So you can see the sunlight wavering. It was windy and normal out here a second ago, but it's just so calm now. Like everything's holding its breath. So cool. It's almost night. I don't know how there's so little left still visible. These are my trail buddies here. She's saying no birds, no birds. It is so dark and eerie. Ah, oh, this is incredible. Just looks like a piece of hair still up there. Ah, that does not do it justice. Sunlight is too powerful. Oh my gosh. It's going. Wowie. Oh. Mama. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Hot potato. Oh my. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is insane. Holy shit. <laughs> it's dark out. <laughs> it's dark outside. Holy mackerel. Oh, it's still getting darker. Oh shit, it wasn't even full yet. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not even filming. Wow. Oh. That's insane. You can see a little peak of brightness still on the other end, I think. Wow. I wish this camera did it justice, but I know it does not. another 20 years till I can see this again. <laughs> Make it just about four minutes. That is just as unfair as life usually is. So 
somebody brought their trump head. That's the freaking moon. <laughs> Daytime's coming again. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just a smidge and it is so bright. Oh. Wow. Let me go over here. <laughs> Into the woods. Good life, wake up. Ah, oh, that was far too short. The moment you try to hold on to every second and appreciate what's going on, just like everything else, it's all too fleeting. Ah, oh, so disappointingly amazing. Man, through the glass of it, it's just a touch, it's visible. The life is just lighting up. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Captain dog shit. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. Mm. How incredible. And look at these. We got two planes up there. I wonder what life is like for them. Ah, oh, my goodness. I think the Fire Nation must be weeping right now. Just like that, though. And go back to Maryland. <laughs> thank you, Ohio. Thank you, thank you, Bridal Veil Falls. In this daytime, something again. Okay, really briefly, we are here in some part of Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh at uh, one of the Rep's relatives' place. This place was insane trying to find. Um, I don't have much tape left, but uh, wow, this, whew, yeah, okay. My body is so incredibly tired right now. Like, my brain just feels like fog, and if I lie down for more than like a minute, my muscles just like, <sighs> it's really, really weird feeling, but um, hey. We're here in one of the reps' relatives' house, and um, the reps should be coming down soon. Cool. Um, gonna sleep. I don't know how long I'll be asleep, because uh, my body could sleep for a long time. But hey, look, it's war. I forgot to say for the record, this is Beaver, Pennsylvania, and then tomorrow morning, going the rest of the way home. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. The road here was crazy. I think I already said that. It was crazy. Frankie Rap, you're in the video. The video. Happy Eclipse Day. Yeah. It's over. It is. The day has eclipsed. Okay. <laughs> Andrew Rap. We where, on the film. This is where the cool kids are. This is where yeah. the cool kids don't are. Don't dance, because then he turns off the video. <laughs>
I'm not feeling tempted, don't worry. Perfect content. That's how it goes. Okay, we've got well rested bonus. That was like nine or ten hours of sleep. And um, now we've got like four hours of driving. Four and a half actually more. And um, Toodaloo, Pennsylvania. Toodaloo, Frankie and Andrew. And all that. South Midway is our first stop here. Somewhere south and midway. We good. Much better driving conditions than on the way up. We are finally home, but not with that. And I've seen a amount of traffic. And we rolled over once on our trip meter. So, ceremoniously, wink, for next time. If you are watching this, it is because I have died.